That's a good time. And I don't do much practice either. <laughs> and I got a CC4 GTO to smoke this thing. Yep. Well, this is okay though. It's okay. Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today I'd like to start off with a thank you to the Geneva Concours. And they uh, shared this car with me to come out and video. So thank you, Geneva Concours of Geneva, Illinois. And I'm with Joe. Joe, what's your last name? Lichtenberg. As the nuns used to tell me in grade school, that meant light on top of the mountain. Is Lichtenberg right? is pronounced lick like in licking a popsicle, 10 like in 9, 10, 11, Bert and Ernie. You'll be saying it in your sleep tonight. <laughs> Lichtenberg. Got it. it. So, Joe, tell us what car you brought here for us. This is a beautiful Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme 442. 1965 convertible. You're going to enjoy this one. So, Joe, come on right alongside me and let's share well that. On a perfect sunny day, we have a beautiful Oldsmobile 442. So let's just first take in the back end. And that looks good in your windshield right in front of you. So Joe, how long have you had this one? I have five years. Five years. Why this car out of all the cars in the world? What was it that made you say, I've got to get this one? I got it at a cheap enough price and it was salvageable. Not a single body panel has been replaced, although every single corner had a dent in it. It's probably about 20 pounds of Bondo on it. When I started having it worked on, I smoothed it all out. And, and now it's like glass. And now it's like glass. Speaking of glass, this color is obviously not the original color, but I'm putting it right in the sun because that metallic is sweet. Crimson red pearls, I understand. From a 2008 Hyundai Azero. Nice color. All right, so let's uh, open the trunk, shall we? We've got a few trunk and treats for you. So from your car club, this tells you the original buckskin top. There's our color. It tells when it was built. You can see how clean. There's no Bondo now. Not on this one. That's great. And if I just put that right there, we have the service chassis manual. This is actually where the car came from, and there's its tag from that dealership there in Colorado. And we have a little bit of an ad from that time period from the Weaver Beatty location. This is the original manual. I'll be gentle with that. As you can see, it goes through the pictures of the car so that you could service this vehicle. That is sweet. All right, we'll close this, may I? You sure can. Thank you. There we go. Let's go to an overall side shot. Come on along with me. Before we go too far back, I'll give you some of the features right off the bat. These are hubcaps, and Joe shared with me that he polished each one of those spokes. And by the way, nice job on the red line tires. Thank you, they're originals. Yeah, that looks great. That's a wonderful piece right there. And I'll show the front wheel. And these are spinners. You see my hand behind them, like so. An interesting flat mirror, like a frying pan, able to smack any bug that comes in its vicinity. And then we shall let's step back from it and give it the overall side look, shall we? It's striking. 
What's the uh, what's the reaction when you're driving this one? <laughs> Lots of thumbs no up. No words, just just thumbs up. People taking pictures, things like that. Oh, sure, they get their share. They get their share. All right. I make sure I get the hell out of the way. <laughs> okay. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna open this up. May I? You sure may. Thank you. You paid your dues. Thank you. I got something to show you while it's open. Please. This trim right here was originally paint. Really? And I had to add the whole thing re-chromed, but since I couldn't get the paint in there correctly, I bought this quarter inch half round and put it in there. And the ideal thing about this yeah. is the pit marks along the bottom here get overshadowed by this thicker rubber tape. A little tip from Joe. Yes, sir. A little tip from Joe. So here's the, let me give you the overall interior and the dash. Tech works, everything works. Everything but the clock. Time is set still. <laughs> Time is set still. Nice. And as you can see, we have our Oldsmobile. Nice steering wheel. Very simple. Easy to follow. No confusion. Our all-important four-speed. We have our Oldsmobile tag there. Our brakes the right amount, amount of pedals. I like how if you hold the steering wheel here you can actually see everything right through the dash. Super clean, easy to understand, no confusion in this dashboard. All original. And is that your top button here I see? That's it. The right power here. top next yes. to the 442. Got it. And your tack. That's nice. You know, obviously you've got buckets in this car. I want to feature those. But the console here It's just right. So your console comes up from the back. There's actually a little light there, as you can see. There's lights there for people when they come in. Comes up the center. Nicely sways out. The, I find it interesting. The mirror's flat, but the tack is bullet-like. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Let's take a look under the hood, shall we? So here's the front of this one. And let's take a look at some of our logos, such as that one right there. And that wonderful rocket logo there, along with that hood. Take you back one more time to take that in. Now we've turned it around so that the engine's right in the sun. Let's take a look at that, Joe. All right. First thing you'll notice that the air cleaner is brushed chrome. That's the way it came out of the factory. Brushed chrome? Brushed chrome. Brushed aluminum? Brushed chrome. It's really? Steel. So it's brushed chrome? steel? Well, it's chrome first and then is it's it brushed. Is it really? Well, thank you for letting me know that. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. There's a web channel. Yeah. It's four called four. My Car Story with Lou. <laughs> uh, uh, among a few others, it's called 442 Bro, B R O. It's all about 65 and exclusively 65 442s. 65 Bro. Very good. A uh, 442 Bro. 442 Bro. Got it. A little shout out to those guys. Well, let's uh, let's fire it up, shall we? We can do that. I 
Kind of smooth, Joe. Yeah, it's a rebuilt engine, rebuilt transmission, and rebuilt car. And it sounds the only great. thing that wasn't rebuilt was the driver. The driver hasn't been rebuilt yet. <laughs> Let's let that idle for a second. Joe, can you step on the brakes for just a moment? Beautiful. Oh, that's got a nice sound. We can take our foot off the brake. Oh, that noise will put the baby to sleep. Go ahead, Joe, give this a rev. Let's uh, beep the horn while we got the moment. All right, uh, limousine time. The limousine light. Let's take it for a ride, shall we? Let's get the road. All right, so I'm here with Joe, and we're in the 442. And uh, how's it feel? Oh, it feels good. It feels good. Yeah, it makes me feel 30 years old. <laughs> so like 10 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, it feels great. You know, I've said that before. I've said that cars make us feel young, which is uh, yeah. Whichever way cars aren't coming will be the way we're going. Cars always make you feel young. Yes. And uh, and it keeps us young. Yes. Yeah, no doubt about it. And, and it keeps us penniless. Penniless too, yeah. Give me a little bit in a second, would you? There we go. That was second to third, but that sounded good. Yeah, that was good. Perfect day. Perfect day. Nothing more fun than, than driving a That's right. mid 60s car That's right. with a little power. Sitting around talking to everybody about it. Well, the, be the beginning of the muscle car era, really, 64, 65. Talking to kids about what they used to do. Yeah. Some of it was mostly unbelievable. <laughs> mostly unbelievable. That's why we have these stories on the channel about my car story, yeah, so we can yeah. we can try to make a few of those unbelievable moments with them. <laughs> no doubt about it. Well, Joe, another fun uh, opportunity to hang out and uh, drive around in your great '65 442 convertible on a perfect day. Thanks so much for being on the channel, and uh, thanks for being on my car story. Thank you for having me, Lotus. It's really been a ball and a half. Thanks so much.